Welcome back everyone, it's Chris with Miranda Farms. Today we're going to be installing LED signature lights, accent lighting for the 2023 K&M Defender. Uh, some people call these ghost lights, they're just these little accent lights that go in here. They come standard on limited and the higher up editions. So on a Pro XT they don't come stock and that's what we're going to be installing today. First thing they tell you got to do is we're going to if you remove these fenders because this entire headlight assembly has to come out just to get to the one bolt that is behind the headlight assembly. It's kind of ridiculous that all this has to be done to install these little lights that are held in with two bolts. But that's the cards we're dealt, so that's what we're going with. So to start, we have to take out these pins right here to release the fender, and then on the back side, you're gonna have a bolt right here, and then another bolt over here, and then this whole panel will just slide off. From there we have two T30 Allen screws behind here. You're gonna pull out. Once those two screws are removed and these two pins, this finder will slide right off. Again, just pull forward and they come out. So next you have a 10 millimeter bolt here in between these other two. You have a 10 millimeter bolt on this side as well. Now you also have to be careful. There is a spacer on the back of this piece of plastic under this bolt that holds it off of the frame. So you don't want to drop that spacer and, and lose that. There's also a wash runner that you don't want to drop. So next you have four more bolts to take out. One here, one here, one here, and one here. These are T30s. So you have one screw here, which is a seven millimeter. You have another seven millimeter screw right behind here.
make sure when you're pulling that screw off you don't lose your washer or your spring that is behind there. So once you have those three screws removed you're going to simply pry up a little bit on this and you're going to pull the headlight right off of the top here. So after all that, that was just to get access to that one bolt there. Kind of ridiculous. So it's an eight millimeter that you're gonna to need to take that out. And once that's out, that whole blank will pop right out. So once you take this screw out, you have a clip here and a clip over here. You got to press up on that clip and put some pressure from the front. Push it out. So once you have this blank out, it needs to look like this. You're going to take your new LED light and do the exact opposite. Just slide that in, push it until the clips engage, and it should sit, it should sit flush with the bumper there. And put that 8mm bolt back in and do the reverse for installing the headlight. Take your factory wiring harness now and you're going to plug it into the light here. Now we're going to put the headlight back in. So when you're reinstalling the headlight, you have this metal washer that's shaped like this and that fits inside that rubber grommet. You have to make sure you have one on both sides of the rubber grommet. That is a seven millimeter bolt. So your second bolt is right here that you have to reattach. From there you can, from there you can hook your bulbs back up. So now we're gonna put the uh, adjustment screw back in. Make sure you put your washer in and your spring. So again, just like on the passenger side, you have an eight millimeter bolt here you have to take out. You have a pin here and a pin back here in the corner. Also make sure you disconnect your wiring harness before you pull that plank out. So with the new light popped in, making sure it sits flush with the rest of the panel. Hook your connector up. We'll start to reinstall the headlight. Keep in mind, on the rubber grommet back there, and on this side, one of these metal washers goes on both sides. So with both headlights back into place, all your screws 
washers and grommets in place. We're going to go ahead and put this hood bezel back on. Make sure no wires are being pinched. So when putting the bezel back on, just keep in mind, this bolt here that goes in the center has that space where you have to line back up. As you can see, that spacer, I don't know if you can see that or not actually, but that spacer is down out of the way. So I gotta slide that back up into position before I can install the bolt. Once you get that spacer lined up and your bolt started, Just screw that in, but you don't want to tighten it up just yet until you get the other side lined up and go. Again, you don't want to tighten that up. You get your other four bolts run in. So after you slide your fenders back on and got your wood bezel back in, keep in mind there are two screws by in here we got to put back in. After that, you're going to button up everything under your hood. Route all your wires. So when you're done, everything should be all tidied up. So once you have everything back together, all you have left to do is to test them out. And there are your 
ghost lights. Thanks for watching. The next thing we'll be installing on this is a set of fender flares. It's going to give it a more aggressive look and keep the mud from flinging up into the cab because it's pretty bad. These tires will throw mud straight up into your in the side of your head. So a set of fender flares are going to take care of that. Give it a nice aggressive look. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.